Hey, welcome back to Supergar Garage. I'm Kevin. Today we're going to actually talk about a really interesting topic. It's called cam phasers. These things are mysterious. This is a cam phaser. They fail and you get codes for them and they cause all kinds of problems and the engine has to come out of the car. Today we're going to cut one open. We're going to explore inside. We're going to see where the failure points are. We're going to talk about that and then you'll be better informed to know how to proceed forward with your own McLaren. Okay, so we're going to take our failed cam phaser, which is in this position on this McLaren 3.8 liter engine. Mm. We're going to actually cut it open because that was a known working unit off of a Lamborghini, same manufacturer. But we're going to cut this one open and see if we have a broken spring, a broken piece of plastic, something inside to let us know what failed on this one. Okay, so we've got the McLaren cam phaser. And this is a phaser of a Lamborghini made by the exact same company. And more than likely, we're going to have identical internals, although they mount differently in the engine. We've started cutting away the edge here. You can see that the edge is rolled. The metal slides over and they roll it with the machine. We're going to cut away the edge so we can slide this cap off. Observing the back of the cam phaser, we can see bolts that are bolted from the other side. So this whole thing is sandwiched together inside this cap that's put on to permanently keep it together, sandwiched together. So next we're gonna take the known good McLaren cam phaser, excuse me, the known bad McLaren cam phaser, open it up and see what the failure is. Five years later. There it is. Socket. A little loose, but that's okay. Lock it. Oh, one shot. Ah, nice. And nothing really obvious right off the rip. So to describe how this unit works, this is a spiral spring, and this unit inside here rotates independently than the outside of the unit. This is controlled very cleverly by hydraulic pressure, oil pressure. Oil comes through the around the bolt and it goes through those passages you see there into internal cavities when it's commanded by a solenoid which allows this to rotate that center section independently the center piece here Okay, so now we've got the spring off. That was fun. I think I saw some sparks flying. That was pretty cool. Uh, I was thinking I might see a broken spring inside of here, but the spring's fine, so the spring is not the issue, which leads me to believe the only other mechanism inside that could be our problem is that locking pin is not locking like it should, so it's failed. Let's get inside and find out. This is the McLaren cam phaser. And I think it's probably important to start looking at similarities inside, okay? If we look, we're going to find we've got the same dowel pin. We've got the same three external pins. Everything's in the exact same orientation. The spacing is the same. This is going to be the same unit inside, I'm, I'm confident. Let's find out. So we've just separated the two halves. You can see the dowel pin here locks it in. And see this, this is the locking position tool. This hydraulic pressure locks it in so that this cannot rotate. Or it releases this so that it can rotate. The, the pressure pushes this pin down, which allows this assembly here to move back and forth inside, allowing the whole outer piece to rotate. 
Let's pull it apart a little further. So these are seals that are going to all fall out when we take it apart. So this is not our failure point. Let's get these seals out of the way. This will probably be easier to demonstrate without these seals in place. And we know this unit's never going back together, so now we're, we're not worried about all the drama. But there you go. You can see how easily it turns back and forth. It's controlled with hydraulic pressure coming through these grooves. When hydraulic pressure comes through a particular groove, it will energize and push this pin down, allowing this pin to slide back and forth so the whole thing can rotate here. Pretty cool. Okay, three weeks later, <laughs> a little fiddling. We're right here at this pin. That's where the we got to get the pressure off. There she goes. We've got our exact same internals. We've got our locking pin here. It looks a little different. I don't remember this piece in the other one. Maybe that's a revision. We can see. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Here it is. This is where the pin locks in. It is just completely eaten away. It's gone. This can phaser never had a chance. So let's take one last look. Obviously, this is the mechanism that moves back and forth inside the can phaser. But the locking pin is the issue. Here is a healthy locking pin cavity. We can see it has a nice sharp edge. The pin can lock in there. Just like that. And here is the worn out locking pin cavity on this cam phaser. There's no way the pin can stay in there. It just pops out. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to just say, hey, Eddie, Thank you yep. so much for coming to be on our cameraman today. Of course, yeah. We love it when you stop by Supercar Garage. You bring all your expertise pleasure. and knowledge. Yeah. This was a lot of fun. It was. I'm glad we were able to find the, the root cause here and, you know, uh, get this customer up and running. All right. That's what we've learned. Till the next video.